Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we would be discussing a very easy problem that is in order traversal and BST. So if you are new to this tree thing then this is a medium level problem but if you are already familiar with BSTs and tree problems if you talk about tree problems specifically then this is an easy problem of tree not an easy problem in general because BST doesn't really come into the ad hoc problems. Fair enough. This is Ms. Siddharth Hazra and let's start off. So let us first see the binary search tree. Let's just say that we have a binary search tree that is 8 and that is 3 and this is 10 and it is 1, that is 6, this is 4 and this is 7 and this is 14 itself. So, what do you mean by an in-order traversal? In-order traversal just means that we need to visit the left first and then the root and then the right. How to remember this? Left, root, right. This is how I remember it. So fair enough, let's just start off. So, I start off basically with the 8 and he tells me that did you visit my left? I said not yet. So I moved on the left of it. 3 is asking me, did you visit my left? I just moved to the left part of it. 1 says, that, "Do you did you visit my left? I said, you don't really have a left. So can I visit you? He says, yes. So I just visited. And that's 10. Now as the left of 3 is visited, we can now visit 3. Now when left and root is done, we go to the right hand side. But if we move to 6, 6 would tell me again that did you visit my left? I say no, not yet. 4 doesn't really have a left so we can visit it. And then as the left of 6 is visited, we can now visit 6. So now we can visit 6. As left and root is done, we go to and visit 7. 7 doesn't really have a left end. As all the left of 8 is done, we can now take a visit on 8. Now left and root is done. So we can now take a visit on the right hand side. Okay. So right hand side 10 would tell me did you visit my left? I will say 10 you don't really have a left. So can, can I visit you? He says yes. So I visit 10. And then after left and root is done we go to the right hand side of it and then we visit it. If you observe that we really have a sorted result, this is an observation. So learn this by heart if you are new to this tree thing and BST thing that in order traversal of BST produces a sorted result and 8 out of 10 questions of BST would be a cakewalk for you. Okay, so now if it is asked that if the given array is an in order traversal of a BST is not. So in order traversal of a BST would be a sorted result. So if this array is sorted then this is an in order traversal of BST. I can confirm that. When is an array really sorted? Because BST binary search tree contains distinct elements. If it contains distinct elements then for sure a of i, if this is i, a of i, this is let's say, let's say for this that this is i. So a of i minus 1 would be less than a of i, we can say this. And we can do this for all the values like we can start from the second element and we can ask if your previous element is less than u or not. If your previous element is less than u or not. If your previous element is less than u or not. So what we can really do is I'm a very lazy person would be representing this with lowercase a and instead of a or I would be doing it with a. So I would be starting off with a for loop and we would be iterating for int i is equals to 1. Why from the second element? Because we need to do this previous element. Previous element would be present from the second element not from the first element. So we would be getting index out of bound if we start from the first element itself. So we'll be starting off with the first element i is less than n and i plus plus and we would say if a of i is less than equal to a of i minus 1. 
so if this thing is there then we would return zero if we didn't find the invalid condition till the very end then we have to what is this all about so if let's say i got into a relationship i didn't find any red flags till the very end so the relationship would be in the end the relationship would be a success in the same manner if i didn't find any invalid condition in all the process then in the end it is a perfectly in order traversal of a bst now I'll just compile it and see how many errors are we making and that's it seems cool and that's it for today so did you find any notification given should i do something after this recording is done tell me in the comments and this would increase the reach of this video and this work could be justified that's it for today this is me siddharth azhar signing off thank you